All right, guys, welcome back to another Dragon Champions video. This is Ali Plays, and yeah, it's been a while since I've done a Dragon Champions video. When I'm back, I got my test account, Ali Al Plays Test. So as you can see, I got a, over one billion uh, gold right here. So I don't need to get any of that, anything from the golden chest. I got 9.6 million drag coins, and yeah, a whole bunch of energy. I'm not even going to count that. So this test account that we got from the devs is on a different server. So you guys don't need to worry about us being uh, competing with you guys. So that is not an issue. Don't worry about that. So we're on our own server. We're only competing against ourselves. So this server was provided for us to provide you guys with content. And yeah, we can test champions for you guys before you guys decide to invest in them. So you can see how they look like when they're maxed out. So let's go to heroes. I don't know. I didn't unlock all the champions yet. I mean, I can if I want to, but it takes a long time. Too many, too much clicking. Uh, going on right now. So I got Solius, Tromgar maxed out, Revel maxed out, Nidiel, Hera, Salvador, Bori. So I got Bori maxed out. So I'm going to show you guys how I built Bori. So this is going to be an in-depth guide slash review on Bori. He's part of the Pride Faction. We just got a tournament uh, tournament for him. So currently Bori is not farmable. Only they haven't said the devs haven't said anything about if he will be farmable. Uh, most likely he will be. We're not sure yet. And yeah, he's part of the prize faction. He's a fighter. He's a ranger. He's a gladiator. Uh, let's take a look at his uh, skills first. So we're going to go over skills, uh, going over his runes, and we're going to try him out. Bori has synergy with Kagi. But I will show you guys why um, that is not that good. Because Kagi, Kagi is not that good, unfortunately. So finishing shot, when maxed out, deals 200% of the physical damage to an enemy. And if the target has the least health left, deals 250% physical damage instead. Wounding Arrow, maxed out, deals 300% of physical damage to an enemy, applies two stacks of bleeding for two turns. So as you can see, this guy synergizes with Revel, because Revel does more damage to champions on his A3 ability if they, if they have bleeding on them. So this guy can apply bleeding. And Wounding Arrow, this ability actually does a lot of damage. Power of the Wind, so Bori gains uh, crit damage increase, damage increase, and haste for two turns. And if Kagi's, Kagi is on the battlefield, you know the guy that I used to call Craggy? If Kagi's on the battlefield, he receives the same buffs and he recovers 30% of the turn meter. So they both get 30% turn meter. Uh, which looks pretty good, but Kagi, uh, not so much. Uh, Bori gains 10% physical damage increase for each living pride character in the party. So if you got a full pride team, you're going to be getting 50% uh, more physical damage. And if Kagi's on the battlefield, he, they both gain armor increase for two turns at the start of the battle. Uh, which can be pretty good for Arena. So those are his skills. His kit looks pretty good. Uh, let's look at the runes, how I built him. So I built him with a crit damage and crit chance, even though even though damage runes are best in slot at this point, uh, depending on how your champion is. So I will probably change this out. I think going with the offense is better. The offense runes. We got, yeah, we got four crit damage runes and uh, two crit chance. So crit chance in this game is pretty low. As you can see, um, a whole set two pieces only gives you eight percent more crit chance so that is not that good and crit damage is a 30 percent boost and if you go to power so you get a 20 percent damage increase uh if you use a power set and 30 percent for crit damage for uh crit damage so power is the way you go if you guys want to do that you guys can do that i'm running this i got the crit damage here uh, of course uh from the northeast rune slot we got the speed primary that's like i think that's best in slot Unless you're a tank, they want their top up longer. And for this side, you can run... <clears throat> Honestly, you could be better off running damage. So you're better off running damage on the Northwestern Rune. You're better off running damage as a primary. Uh, for some reason, I have shield. Uh, we will correct that right now. So we're going to click search. Click this, crit damage. And yeah, we're looking for two stars, of course, because we got a test account. Uh, we can keep going as much as we want. So this might take a while, so you can reset this. Let's see if we can run it. Get that drop. Not yet. 11 minutes later. All right, so after <laughs> getting this up to 1,000 attempts, or 1,000 drag coins for attempts, we managed to get one damage primary right here uh, with potency as a secondary, even though he doesn't need potency, but that is not an issue. So we can get that damage increased. So I'm going to go ahead and insert this, and we're going to level it up. Max it out, plus 16. There we go, we got some speed on there, so that's good, and we got that 2.6% damage. So yeah, looking at his total stats now, click Manage Rooms, so he's got 3,294 physical damage. Obviously, if you go with the damage rooms, you'll, be doing, you'll have a higher physical damage rating than this. 
Um, I might do that honestly, but not right now. Maybe in a different video. So we're gonna go run Bori on a pride team in arena. Where are we right now? We're rank three. Uh, this team honestly looks to be the best right here. The one with Solius lead and uh, Cruel, Freezard, uh, Nidiel, and uh, Little Batty. For some reason, that team is a beast. I don't know why. Uh, I don't think my team can beat it, but I'll show you guys how strong that team is. So we're going to be running Hero Lee. So allies from the Pride gain 20% dodge. And when the battle starts, all allied Pride defenders gain taunt for two turns. So Salvador is going to start off with taunt. And all allied Pride healers and tacticians gain invisibility for two turns when the battle starts. And Pride fighters gain a damage increase for two turns. So Revol and Bori will get a uh, damage increase. And we're going to throw in Kagi. I'll show you why Kagi is not that good. Well, I am running it with speed, so my, my, <laughs> that might be the issue. Most likely it is. Yeah, so take one test. We're going to face your team. Uh, we are allowed to show loading screen, so this is going to be a new champion. They already announced her name. I don't know which... Honestly, I don't know which one it is. Been very busy. So, obviously, um, Kagi, I think I need to redo him because he has speed sets. Uh, I'd rather have Bori go first so we can give him that, that, uh, that boost. Yeah, so we're going to try to kill 90L first. So he's got that double hit. See this boost right here? So he gains crit damage increase, whatever, all these stats. And if Kagi's on the battlefield, they receive the same buffs. And they recover 30% of the turn meter. So we're going to do that. Get that damage increase. All right, so check out Wounding Arrow. Look how much damage this does. Deals 300% of physical damage to enemy. Applies two stacks of bleeding for two turns. So we got 12,952. I have actually seen this move do 46,000 damage. But I guess little baddie is just too tanky. I used the wrong move there. Uh, let's try to slow this down. Oh, they killed Hera. So we're going to run at three times speed so you guys can see some things. So this guy, it does do a lot of damage. Bori, that was 14,000, uh, 16,000 damage. Honestly, I don't remember how much damage I did. <laughs> Uh, let's, yeah, let's apply haste. I don't know. Maybe I can kill little baddie because she's annoying. No, I couldn't. We should have applied haste there. Ooh, 20,000 damage. That is crazy. Let's get that kill. Oh, she copied. Uh, Cruel's annoying. See, this is why I always lose. Cruel, every time I kill somebody, Cruel just brings... Uh, one of the guys back to life. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this again. Even though uh, we're probably going to lose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out Kagi. Because, um, yeah, he sucks. <laughs> so I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, recommend working on Kagi. Maybe a little bit. Because you know how he's a daily login character? He's a daily login reward champion. So you're going to be getting lots of uh, hero stones for Kagi. So most likely the Lex Legendary Champion. Uh, you will need Pride Champions. Cause that's what happened. Uh, Cause that's what happened for for Solius. He needed the orcs, and then the orcs was the daily login. And next up, before like for November, for November we had Sharp as the daily login, and then we needed to use Elves to unlock Ember. So the next one most likely will be Pride uh, Team. So Kegi, you do have to work on him a bit, but don't overinvest. Don't get him to gear eleven just yet, unless everybody's maxed out. So we're gonna throw in Snorri now, cause Snorri does have bleed. So we're going to run Snorri with Revel and uh, Bori. Look at that AoE. You got that bleed on everybody. Yeah, we got to get a taunt back up. See, Nidal's really annoying, man. She just takes away his taunt. Okay, we're going to try to get that taunt on him. Okay, so let's do that AoE. That cheat death is really annoying, too. So yeah, Bori does do a lot of damage, if you haven't noticed. Just that this team is very, very powerful that we're fighting. Uh, we'll try to kill Solius. You can't. So it doesn't look like a Pride is very good right now. It feels like they're missing a healer. So when Renera comes out... That's when Pride might be the meta for Arena. But they are very good. Um, I think that they will be better in raids. I can't really test out raids right now. I don't think I can even launch a raid. 4,000, right? Yeah, I don't think I can even launch a raid. I probably need to make my own guild. 
or join another guild. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave this T7 squatters. I don't know. All right, I guess we're joining McMole and the crew. So let's see if they even have a raid up. Hopefully they do, because I need to test. All right, so they do have a raid up. So we'll shout out to you guys, T-Shams, uh, DLG, take one. Yeah, we're going to try out our team. All right, so I can't participate in the raid because I wasn't a guild member when the raid was launched. So I will make another video um, showcasing the bleed team in uh in the race so this is tier seven and yeah so that's it that's it for so far for the test account um if you guys want to see something you guys want me to uh test something out let me down let me know down in the comment section i will try to get uh get on it yeah so overall bori is a very very good champion uh he does a lot of damage unfortunately we couldn't beat that team and he's a very very good addition uh to the pride faction so yeah that's it for the video so if you guys like this video, if you guys found this video helpful in any way, make sure you guys drop a like as it helps me out a lot. And if you guys are new to the channel and like what you see, then consider subscribing. I make Raid Shadow Legends and Dragon Champions content. I try to do it almost every single day. And if you guys want to support the channel and you want to play Dragon Champions, use the my referral link in the description as that directly helps out the channel. Even just dropping a like really helps out, sharing with your clan. And yeah, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.